Hey, I'm going to show you how to create a real simple delay line using Max for Live. Have a nice beat in there right now. Okay. Turn that off for a second. And we'll grab a Max Audio effect, throw it on that uh, track. Okay. Get a plug in, plug out. Let's open it up. And the big thing to do is basically use this thing called a tap in. Have a tape delay in. And we're going to give it a buffer size of two seconds. And we need to have a tap out. And it will have a single tap out for now. We'll connect these up. We'll just grab one channel, bring it in. Now, the tricky part is we don't just want to add that in, or else we might max things out. So, what we're going to do is we have to have a fader some sort. We'll call it a live, uh, live slider. Grab that. Put that in. And we're going to set a default value for that. Uh, we're going to say it goes from 0 to 1. And the initial value is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay, close it up here. Set it to 0.5 for now. And that is going to feed a multiplier. Now notice that all these things we are using the tilde commands because they're going to be audio level stuff, right? So audio rate stuff. So tilde. So we have coming out of that. And we have to adjust that and send it out. So this is going to go from 0 to 1. And we also want to uh, check the other side as well. My cat seems to want to get in the room here. I'm not going to let him in just yet. OK, so grab this, disconnect that. I have to run him through another uh, star tilde multiplier. And whoops. this guy is going to go in there, and this guy is going to come out, and I'm going to take and invert the other guy by doing this. Watch, ready? Um, minus one. So this is going to go from zero to one, and I want to subtract that from one. So we're going to take this, feed it to the first part, and send that to that. Right? That value goes in there. Subtract one from it. No, that's wrong. Uh, I want to subtract that from one. I need to have one always coming in here. This is going to be a little bit weird. So I'm going to have number, number one, send it to there, and I'm going to bang that number one. Oh, it's a little tricky. Bang the number one with the output of this guy. So right after he sets the value, then he's going to bang the one through, and that should send it through there. Let's see if that works. Okay. Yep. Cats messed up my tutorial. Okay, so what's happening? Audio is going in there. That's dry. Mix it in. So the trick here is I have to invert. So one goes from 0 to 1, and the other one goes from 1 to 0, basically. That's why I have this subtracted off from 1. That's the tricky part. OK, so there's our first effect, a nice simple uh, delay. 
Now if we want to say how much do we want to delay, so I'm going to throw another object in here. I'm just going to throw a uh, new live dial. And live dial is going to go into tap out. Specter. I'm going to say it can go from 0 to 2000. And let's see what happens. crazy back there. All right. Uh, well, check out this for a while. See if that makes sense. Talk to you later. I got to go see what the cat's wanting. All right. Take care. Bye.